Hello everyone, welcome back to Davis Corner. For today's short video, we will be talking how to identify or how to find out if the compound is covalent or ionic. All right, let's go ahead and start. Before we answer this question, let me share to you the easiest way and how to identify if the compound is covalent or ionic. By the way, when we say covalent compound, this is a type of um, bond or a combination of elements from non-metal atoms. So in short, like this is from two, it's like two elements or atoms from non-metal groups that share a pair of electrons. And when we say ionic, this is a one, uh, one element or atom from metal group and one from non-metal groups that has opposite charged ions. Now let's go ahead and check out for this one. Let me show you the table of elements. And this is the easy, easiest way for you to find out if the element or if the element is from the metal group or non-metal group. Now this is one of the things that we can use. Do you see the line here between the baron and um, the aluminum? So as you can see, this is a black line. This separates the group down to tennessee from baron, silicon, um, germanium, antimony, and down to the tennessee. Going to the right, they belong to the non-metal group, including the hydrogen in here. So the hydrogen in here belongs to the group right here, which belongs to the non-metal group. And all the elements right here going to the left, they fall in the metal group. So again, you just have to mark your table of elements right here between the barn and aluminum down here between the gallium and the germanium down here between the tin and antimony and bit down here between the bismuth and pobium and down between here the livermonium and the tennessee so you have to mark that and all here the groups here including hydrogen is uh, a non-metal group of elements and on the left here this is a a metal group okay now let's go ahead and try to do some examples right here so first we have the water or h2o let's find out okay h2o as we can see h is hydrogen even though if hydrogen is located here this belongs to the NOMA group. And the other, the second one we have is the oxygen. Oxygen belongs to the non-metal group. So therefore, hydrogen and oxygen both belong to the non-metal group. So therefore, what type of covalent are they? So the answer is if they both came from a non-metal um, group of, of elements. So it means that they are covalent compounds because covalent is a composition of two non-metal atoms, okay? So let's write the answer. So we have here covalent bonds. Okay, so uh, covalent compound to me. So C is short for compound. Our abbreviation for compound. Now let's check number two, O2 or the oxygen. Let's find out where did this oxygen located? Oxygen is right here. So it came from a non metal group. So basically, what kind of compound if it consists only of non metal group or non metal elements? So basically, it's called the covalent compound so our answer for number two is still covalent 
Okay. Okay. And number three for NH3, uh, which you call the ammonia. Okay, let's find out. So we have two elements here. We have the nitrogen and the hydrogen. That's what, so let's check the location of nitrogen. The location of nitrogen is right here. And how about for the location of hydrogen? It's up here. So they both belong to the non-metal group, which means that this element is a very good. That is a covalent bond. Okay, next, let's have this NH. NaCl or the sodium chloride. That we, we have two elements here. We have the sodium and the chloride. Now let's find for the location in the table of elements. Let's have first the sodium or the Na. So here, Na is right here, or the sodium. So which group does it came from? Or which group does it belong to? Very good. It belonged to my metal group. And how about the chloride? Very good. We have the chloride here. And what group does it belong to? Perfect. It belongs to a non-metal group. So we have one metal and one non-metal. What kind of compound is it? Very good. That is a ionic compound because there's one metal. It's sodium. And one non-metal, which is the chlorine. So that makes it sodium chloride. So the answer is we have the ionic bonding. Very good. Or the ionic compound. Compound. Okay, last we have the potassium bromide. K stands for potassium and Br for bromide. Now we have two elements here, and let's find out their location in the table of elements. Let's look first for potassium. Potassium is right here. Which group does it belong to? Very good. It belongs to a metal group. How about for bromide? Very good. Bromide is right here. And which group does it belong to? Very good. It belongs to a non-metal group. So therefore, if we have one metal here and one non-metal here, what kind of compound we have? Perfect. So we have an ionic compound. Okay. So that's it. This is a short lecture. Our lesson for today. This is easier for you. For you, it's this way on how you find out if it's covalent compound or ionic compound. Again, when we say covalent compound, these are from the two non-metal groups, and the ionic compound means there's one from metal group and one from non-metal group. Thank you for watching a short lesson for today. I hope you learned a lot. And take care, everyone. Bye for now.